Hello, today I'm looking at the um, Samsung phone with the implementation of Android version 7 or Nougat, or Nougat uh, which seems to have taken away the functionality of uh, Smart Manager which is on the Android 6 version for some of the phones so I'm just going to settings first to see which version there is on the phone and if you scroll down on settings right down the bottom you'll get things saying about device so you click on that and there should be a something saying software info click on that and up the top there you should see Android 7 so if you've got Android 7 you're good to go if you're saying Android 6 then you will still have smart manager probably if that's supplied by your phone or carry your phone by your phone carrier so we'll go back to settings again and this time what you got instead of smart manager is a thing called device maintenance so you just tap on that and you see it's actually on mine currently just going through um, and optimising is the word they're using so it says um, your device's performance rating is excellent tap optimise now to further optimise so it's quite like a game really so uh, the idea is to get that to 100 out of 100 and down the bottom you can see the options you've got you've got battery settings, performance mode, storage, RAM, device security and um, start with the left of the battery, so click on the battery and then that shows you um, estimated battery life, um, power saving mode, selector mode, blah 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 blah, app power monitor, save power. So what this is saying, power saving mode off, um, mid and max, depending on how you want to use your phone. So the more things are active, the less value, the less battery life you'll get. Um, and saying if I switch everything off, I should get a maximum of 130 hours out of the battery. Um, down below that's the application power monitor, and select apps below, then save power to, then tap save power to stop them from using your battery while you're not using them. So there's things ticking away in the background on the phone that are there to make them sort of instantly available when you select that particular app but if you don't go to that app very often why have them sitting there in memory so that one can go, that one can go that one can go, that one can go now I've got an um, ESET, that's the antivirus that I've got so I'll leave that going um, other apps I've used that I don't use, I'm not using at the moment and just keep on going through. I'm not too sure it says usage per hour 0%. Uh, that's, I think that refers to my usage, so I haven't used some of these things for the past uh, wee while. And having ticked all those, I can then go to save power and it then goes through and one by one sort of shuts those applications down so they're not sitting in memory and you see that said 12 oh well you might have seen that 12 battery draining apps shut down so uh, that the only one left is is the security one I've left running um, performance mode again um, you can choose which performance optimised battery, balance battery life and screen resolution. Uh, if you want to do gaming, make some changes or entertainment or high performance. Now, because I, I'm close to power most of the time, I just have, have it usually set to high performance. Um, if I was out and about and away from um, power supplies, then I'd probably use the optimised version. So that's available. Storage. Now this also 
uh, free up storage space by deleting unnecessary data such as cached residual and advertisement files. Clean now. Um, so it's giving me an estimate that if I press the clean now button it will take 200 megabytes out of storage. <clears throat> and down the bottom here it's showing me what's in store. Now that's the storage on my phone memory or phone what's the storage and I've got SD card as well so I've got a memory card stuck in the side and I'm using 25 gig out of 29 of that. Um, so if I click on that it will show me on that um, what I'm using and um, how much space I've got left available. So that's uh, quite informative. So I can then go through and if I want to take out some photos or remove some audio files, I can actually do that or remove some videos and such like. So it looks like applications is taking out a massive 18 gigabytes. So I've got to be a bit careful about all these things I download from Play Store. So I can clean now and just press that. And that just runs through and cleans out all the files that are just sitting there unloved and unused. Um, so I'm then go about the storage RAM, that's the random access memory. Uh, clean your devices RAM by stopping the apps below from running. So the only one that's got messages is running at the moment. Put view more. So it just shows all the things that are sitting there in RAM. And again I can do a clean now. I just press that. And I'll just run through and clear out all the stuff that's just sitting in the random access memory holding space and doing nothing. It's just sitting there available when that thing's next used. So that's taking care of that one. Uh, device security is just to do with scanning device and such like, so I'd sort of leave that well alone. And look, I've got a hundred. Excellent. So here we go. Now once this has been set, um, you sometimes get reminders coming up on messages saying you have three apps running um, that are taking up space that are not required, and you can just attend to that. Uh, but that's quite a nice, clean interface. And um, normally you just leave it running and don't have to do anything, but if you find your phone is slowing down, uh, it's worth going into this section and just popping through these things and making sure it's running at its best. Thanks for watching.